episode of the Late Night Show with your host, T.T. Styles. Yes, make some noise, y'all. It's T Squared in the spot, and I'm bringing you what's hot from Michigan. Okay, so today I have an exciting, exciting show for you, packed, power pack. We've got African Oscar Spotlight. We've got Music Spotlight. We have Red Hot Tips for your holiday spotlight. Plus, have you ever met anyone that has a bullet in their back, shot in the head, rape, assault, murder, all sorts of stuff, and she's come out of it, put it in a book, In Pursuit of Sanity is the book, we're going to be spotlighting and interviewing her live today on the red carpet, that's what we have for you, you guys stay tuned, don't touch that button, we'll be right back after these messages. Welcome back. So I'm going to start off this first show ever with the African Oscars. We got to spotlight some of the hottest stars in Hollywood in 2014. And Chi TV was there. We're spotlighting you. It's exciting. Take a look at these clips. Good evening and welcome to Chi TV. We're spotlighting you. It's exciting. Tonight we're at African Oscars and I've said it many times tonight, if you're not here, you're not anywhere. Okay, this is the spot to be. And we're hanging out with the one and only KD Upper. We ain't no damn top flight security of the world. Damn! We Craig and Day Day. I hope don't nothing happen all day. I'm not having it. Everybody's a suspect today. <laughs> Friday after next. The gorgeous model actress, uh, I mean superstar, is you know she's she's on the red carpet gracing it. She's here supporting, presenting. Um, one of your films. I was actually nominated tonight too. And last year she took home a su- yeah, best supporting actress. Last year, so I'm good. And I knew this year I want to. I won't even hold my breath to <laughs> for the film. Yeah, they had me up against uh, Twelve Years a Slave and Woman Now Are Loose. So I was like, yeah. Uh, and it was so funny, I tell you, it was, it was really funny because I wish I had a camera for everyone that I told the story to about, I would tell people I was nominated and then they were like, oh my God, girl, that's great. And I was like, yeah, but I ain't gonna win. <laughs> no, girl, you gotta, you gotta call it into the universe. You gotta be positive. I was like, I'm going up against Lupita and 12 Years a Slave. They was like, oh yeah, girl, you're not gonna win this. <laughs> <laughs> it was the funniest thing seeing people go from like, girl, you could do it to yeah, you ain't you ain't, you ain't got this. So I'm real, I'm a realist, I'm a realist. Oh, she's so awesome. I hung out with her last year and she's the coolest person ever. She's like down to earth. It's not like oh I'm a star, I'm too good. She's like she's like, what's that girl wearing? Why is she here? Do you remember that? No, I wasn't talking about nobody clothes, girl. No, no, you have to. So tell me why this is really exciting for for Africans to be having this in Hollywood right now at a time like this. Why is this so important for us um, in, in the industry? I think it's great. And to be honest, I think it's so cool because everyone seems so relaxed. And it's like, you know, I go, I've been to Africa several times and I try to explain to people what it feels like, what it's like, you know, and, and it's like tonight I believe there's a lot of American actors here that have never been to Africa so I feel like it's great because it's kind of making it tangible you know and I, and I think it's great that it's in LA it's in Beverly Hills and you know and and the fact that there are American actors that are being acknowledged you know from the African culture it's just kind of an extended arm of support and you know um, I just think overall it's just really great so I'm gonna get your numbers so I can cast you my next film right yeah are, are you interested in writing and producing your projects maybe in the future I'm doing that. Oh, that's funny stuff, girl. I just, I just need budgets. You need a producer like me. Well, I can get you the money. If you can give me the money, we can go, girl. Hey, boo, hey, I'm ready. I got my investment package, honey. I got my LOIs. I have everything. I get it. Did you do the dress thing this year where you let the people help you pick the dress that you wanted? I did. They picked this one. Oh, cool. And, and this was an urban, I mean, a black app, app urban designer. And I got, the, I got some really comfortable, stretchy, stretchy shoes that you're not going to be able, you can't see anyways because the dress is so long. But this is a Kevin Hall. Thank you, Kevin. And then I got this off of the back of a car, and I just decided to put it in my hair. 
Oh my God, I do stuff like that. I'm not the only person. Oh, no, I'm kidding. I got this from um, African Fashion Week in LA. Fabulous. African Fashion Week, African Oscars, the beautiful African actress and model, superstar, whatever you want to call it, is right here backstage with us. There's other stuff. She's giving them the look. There's other stuff. What other stuff? Comedian. Um, no, I'm on point. La anything. Like you and impromptu. The star of my next film. And the star of my next film. Oh yes, Otis. Uh, this uh, this one's for you, Otis. Okay. Yeah. We we, we need. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we need this. I, I know we talked about a couple of people in Hollywood, and I know her name was mentioned. I know Peter Wise is on this project. So Peter, we're talking to you as well. Yeah. Yes. yes. You know I'm gonna turn it up. Turn down for what? All right, that was African Oscars Backstage Pass with Chi TV, where I got to bring you the interviews. And I mean, I have like hours of interviews. So every single show, we're going to show you clips. We can't show you everything all at one time. But Katie Albert, amazing backstage. He's like, we knew each other for a long time. We were just kicking back, chilling. I mean, she's, she's a star, one of the stars from um, the film Friday After Next. She's just beautiful in person and also on set. Hopefully, I can work with her soon in the future in a film. Moving forward now, up next is our fashion. Fashion, fashion hot tip section. Ladies, what's the hot color of the season? I picked red, because red can go with anything. Black, blue, I mean, if you put red lipstick on, red nails, you're definitely rocking it this season, and red has always been in style. I'm gonna show you how to rock red nail polish color, and how to be able to do it within a limited time and an affordable way right in your own home after these messages, we'll be right back. All right, welcome back to our fashion section of the late night show with your, your host Chi Chi Styles. This is one of my beautiful, beautiful models, <laughs> sister, little cousin. I mean, like, I watch over her. I'm out with her. We go to, like, events, and I'm like, who's that guy? You better talk to me. For, I mean, what does he think? He all come by check in. Um, but she's a beautiful model, actress, and you can see how fabulous she is. She's going to be, um, I'm going to be doing nails on her. And now we talked about doing this affordable nail thing at home, right? And it's called the Gel Nails where they're set for 14 days plus and you can wear them and do this at home by yourself and no one has to you don't have to pay money to anybody else you can get the items on this table the light is probably about 20 something bucks and the nail polishes themselves run anywhere from 8 to 10 you can get a complete set from target for less than 20 you need alcohol and you need some cotton swabs to do this thing we're going to show you real quick how to do get your holiday um color going and I know we picked red 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 so we're gonna do a whole red thing and um, check it out you start with a base coat okay do this with your friends uh, when we have ladies night when you get a group of girls come together and dog your husband's out yeah one of those one of the nuts. apply the top coat the base coat sorry and always remember to clean the edges I'm not no nail expert and I'm not definitely someone that has like any kind of you know super experience but I do my nails myself for many years and I'm just getting to you you know show you guys why and how affordable this you put it under your light and you let that set for 30 seconds and while you're putting that hand on of course if someone else is doing it for you they can get the base coat on the other hand This is just to show you how you can set your nails real quick for a holiday thing. If you got something to do that evening, you don't have time to run to the nail shop, you can do this yourself if you have these items at home. These items are less than 30 bucks at home that you can put together. Well, maybe less than 40, 50. But to get shellac nails or gel nails done on your own, it's 30 by itself. So one time you spend a little investment of 50 bucks, you can have all these things at home. And they're accessible anytime that you're ready to get your nails done. We're gonna put the first coat on which is a hot, hot red color. I love red. And for this season, it's perfect. And you apply it, make sure you don't get a lot of it on the edges of the nails. It comes out really, really sharp and beautiful. Okay. And you do the same for all the nails. I really am enjoying doing I feel like a nail lady right now. My name, Kim Won Tai Hu. I do your nail for you. <laughs> I'll try to find out nail. 
I do special. I don't do feet. No feet. Don't do no feet, okay? But I do hand for you. I do shit lot. And you can do it yourself at home, okay? Save you some money. We're gonna do this and we're gonna set it under the light for 30 seconds each interval. And we're gonna come back and show you at the end of what the end product looks like. But you do a second coat after she's gone under the nail dryer, the fluorescent light thingy majiga right here. Um, and she's gonna get that. You're gonna put another coat, top coat on top of that. And then you're gonna put your top coat to top it off each time, 30 second interval. And then when you come back, you have a set color in less than 10 minutes in your own home, you're done. And you can get all these colors at less than 10 bucks at Sally's, Young's, courtesy of Young's Beauty Supply today. One person in the audience will be taking all of this home. We'll be right back after this. Welcome back, we're doing the top coat now. This is the final stage. We've done the two, two coats, 30 seconds each time, and put it under the dryer. Now we're gonna do the top coat and you'll be done in less than a minute. You'll be out of here with your nails ready to go. No stains, no nothing. This is the coolest part, so. Yes, y'all, there's some holiday nails, sharp, ready to go. All right, we're all done. And she's gonna dry them. So when you finish, you just add your alcohol and you just wipe. And oh my gosh, it's ready, it's shiny, it's good to go. You're ready to get out of here. Use a little olive oil on the edges of your nails just to give it a little better shine and it's even healthy for you to use olive oil. But this is done right in your home. Package ready to go. No smear, no getting on your bag, your clothes, your purse, you can run out of the door. We're gonna get the second nail out and do the same thing. You wipe it a little alcohol on there. And that is it, she's good to go. I'm telling you, this is like magic, y'all, but I do this all the time myself. She's wearing the red hot color Christmas holiday. And here is this lipstick that I think is perfect for it by Renaissance. And they're out of Maryland, but this is called red carpet color. And this will go perfect with your red nails. Get you ready for this holiday season. Thank you so much for joining us, my beautiful model. We'll be right back after these messages. So you just got a chance to sit with me and my model and we're able to show you how to quickly do your gel nail polish right at home with some of the products we have. Again, all these products are under $50 complete on eBay and that's how much it costs for you to go one time to the nail shop. And then while you're there, the lady's like, I do for you, I charge five dollar, I do extra for you all day. Now you can do it yourself at home and save your time. Okay, I'm not saying, not knocking the nail shop, but I'm just saying home remedy, do it with your friends, ladies night, some of those things you can have at home. It's what I do for myself. That's what I wanted to share with you on my shows moving forward. Up next, we're still waiting to talk to the lady who shot her own son. Don't touch that button, we'll be right back. Welcome back to the Late Night Show with your host, Chi Chi Styles. In the studio with me on the red, hot, red couch is a Miss Lavinia Reynolds. Yay! Thank you, Mom, so much for joining us. I call her Mom. She's like my mom. I met her and we just clicked and she's like a, been a mother figure. And when I talk about guys or stuff that I'll be like, Ma, I like this guy. And she's like, do this, do that. You know, she got game and she's she's been, she knows the stuff. And so, I, you know, I mean, she, she, she is my mother. Welcome, Mom. To nice my to show. Be nice to be here. I enjoy watching you. Oh, You're thank awesome. you. Thank you so yes. much. So she got shot. Okay, before we even go there, um, this is the biggest part to everyone that's been kind of clicking on the commercial, uh, looking forward to the show, is under the influence of a crack cocaine, you shot your son. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, I first want to share that I don't tell my story for entertainment. I tell it um, to help people that, that's going through what I've been through. There are a lot of hurting people out there. Right. God has enabled me to, and set me free to where there's no shame or embarrassment of telling my story. So that's why I tell it. Uh, my oldest son, uh, he didn't like uh, the man that was in my life. And uh, this particular day, uh, this man had done something to piss my oldest son off. So my oldest son wanted to shoot him. But I, uh, we were tussling with this gun and I was trying to stop my son from shooting a man that was in my life and he was uh, trying to get the gun from me. 
the gun backfired, ricocheted, whatever you want to call it, but it went off, and I had the end uh, with the barrel, and so my son was shot, um, very serious um, surgeries he had to have. He had four different surgeries because the, bun, the gun, I mean, the bullet ricocheted. Oh, the, the bullet ricocheted, and um, they thought he was going to die. So I was arrested for attempt murder, and um, I was getting ready to be arraigned, uh, uh, guard opened the door and he said you're free to go Did you sell? and I'm like what and he said your son came out the coma and said it was an accident so wow I, yeah that that's like <laughs> that's one a, of the many testimonies in my life um I've been the, shot twice because the bullet yeah you have a bullet in your back yeah I have a bullet in my back right now uh, they didn't remove it because they felt that it would paralyze I would be paralyzed I have to say this part because there's a lot of things I can't even remember. And it's 458, 52 pages of good stuff. I'm talking about good stuff, but someone took her kidney. Absolutely. Someone uh, took her kidney, you know, told her that, you know. Yeah, I have one kidney. Took uh, it and were... put it on the black market and just, <laughs> someone took her kidney. I'm just silly. Like, you have to get this book in pursuit of sanity. Uh, we'll be right back after this message is. <laughs> Welcome back. We're still in the studio with Miss Lavinia Reynolds, my mother as I call her. And we're talking about this interesting life that she has. Yes, I mean, we, we were just during the break talking about um, the bullet in your back and, you know, all this bullets and gunshots. They weren't the same story. It wasn't the same day where, you know, the... No, the, no, no. Because no. I don't want to be... <laughs> I mean, if bullets are like flying in, in your home like that, I'll just... But that was back in the days. It's not something that's No, that, that, that was like in now. my younger days. Yes, yes. And, and the incident when when um, I was shot in the back, uh, there was a young man trying to rob me because I'm a hairstylist and, and he was trying to rob me. So that when that happened, and the incident when I was shot in the head, um, I was young and, and, and a young woman the head. thought I wanted her man. And oh. yeah, so she says, um, You're gonna tell me about you and Jerry. So I guess Jerry was worth killing me about, but um, that's how that took place. But through it all, not only am I alive, I'm smarter and wiser than I've ever been in my life. God brought me through everything once for me to tell the story, to let people know that, um, one, he's real. Because I know I should have been dead. Talking about a cat got nine lives, I've had about 20. <laughs> I, I've had a good 20 lives. And, and we, how many, you said something about, I think we were talking during the break about 14 abortions. Yeah, I've had 14 abortions. Um, I was told by a doctor that I'd never carry kids again because I wanted to know. I've had so many abortions, what could happen to me? He said, well, you'll probably never be able to carry kids again. And that's another miracle testimony in my life because after that, I had two more kids. That's what I'm talking about. You've got to get the book In Pursuit of Sanity, 452 pages yes. of testimonies. I mean, this is really happening. You can come out of whatever it is that you're in and tell your own story and not Absolutely. be afraid to share it because when you do, others get a chance to actually get, you know, healed, mm -hmm. like a freedom mm -hmm. of that thing that mm -hmm. is holding you back or, or destroying you in bits and pieces. Um, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you can you get the me. book at the bottom of the screen. You'll see how, where you can get a copy of her book. Make sure you check out for more information on what's going on with her. Follow up with her book tours. When is she coming to a city near you? On tv.chichimovies.com And before we go um, with Miss Lavinia Reynolds, everyone in the studio audience today is going to be leaving with a copy of Impossible Pursuit of Sanity, that's our way of supporting you and telling you that we love you here from Late Night Show with Chi Chi Styles. We'll be right back after these messages. To end the show today is our African music spotlight, African Rising. This music video touched my heart the first time I ever watched it. I played it back on Facebook as many times as I could. And it's it's got a collabo of DeVito, um, Lola Ray, Tiwa Savage, Sakodie, I mean, all of, and many more joined together um, on this uh, uh, music video called African Rising. You guys take a look at this clip. And as we end this show, remember to stay focused. Your dreams and your goals can always be a reality. The host is out.